my minions. Welcome back to another episode of Terra from a Craft. Um, it's Master Crusader here. And uh, I've been doing some prospecting. And today, we're going to make our very first uh, bronze tools. Um, I found a couple veins of Cassiterite, which is tin. And uh, I found some Bismuthinite. And that's all fine and dandy. I haven't cleaned out, I haven't cleaned out this mine yet of the tetrahedrite, which is actually probably the best. So I'm going to dock my boat here without breaking it. Hopefully, yep. Don't drift too far away. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, so uh, there's still a ton of tetrahedrite down in that uh, that this chest. Uh, not this chest, this mine, and it's rich, so it's good. Um, but, so a couple episodes ago, we went prospecting over that direction, and we found a couple mines of Cassiterite, and they all, it looks like they're all close enough to be the same mine. Um, I dropped down into two of them, and the quality was small and poor. You know, small is what I grabbed off, it's poor. Um, but, I headed due south, for about a thousand blocks, and I found another cassiterite uh, vein that showed up as regular. It's not rich, so it's not great, but um, what we're gonna do is we're going to mix. Come on, I need, I need this, there you go. So we're gonna open this up, we're gonna put in, I need more, actually I've got some, don't I? I've got some tetrahedrite here, uh, platinum, gold, that's Galena, which is pointless, Sphalerite, which I can't use right now, there's some Cassiterite. Um, Alright, so we're going to go over here, I've got some molds made up, uh, what did I do with my molds? I've got some molds made up for a pick, and uh, I think that's all I really need now, is a pick. Let's go ahead and grab... A little bit more of this. Let's grab the small tetrahedrite on top. There's how much is that? That's 25 units. These are 35. So let's grab a few of these. I'll put the small and the and the smaller back in the chest. Okay. So we have to mix these at a nine to one ratio to get bronze. So. We want, let's go ahead and see if we can get two tools. Um, first stuff in the Bronze Age. Oh, everything depleted. Okay, uh, that's fine. So, I've got here, I've got a pick. Oh, I need a free hand, don't I? Let's go ahead and move that out. So, I got a pick. That's a scythe. That's an ingot. There's a half filled thing of ingot. So, no, not really. Um, so, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make at least a pick. Should I make one thing else? Okay, let's see how much we got, actually. So, we're going to open this one. We're going to put in... These are 35 units. So, there's 35, 90, no, 70. So, 35 times 3... That's 105. We need more. Um, 105, because we need it to get up to 180. And then we'll put in 20 Cassiterite, and that'll give us two. Um, whoops. That'll give us two units or two things. I can't do that because multiple sizes won't fit. Um, oh, fine. 105, 140, 175. That should be fine. So we'll do 175 of that and 25 Cassiterite. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and make sure that this little piece is in there too, just in case. Um, and there's another one right here, so I'll take that one. Okay, so... This should give us pretty good bronze. So this is 175, 
195 um, and we want 20 this is 15 so we'll put in two of these so that gives me 30 and that should give me two bronze tools so let's go ahead and plop that down in one of my pit kilns and let's go ahead and make another tool let's see I've got the reason is is a copper tool only has 600 uses and I'm assuming that a bronze tool will have quite a bit more. Let's put this back. Oh, I had a bunch of them. Um, oh, that's valerite. Uh, cassiterite. Put this cassiterite back. So let's go ahead and grab five more of these. One, two, three, four, five. And what should we make? Let's make, let's see. I've got an ax, which is brand new. That's good. Plus 115 attack. Oh, I didn't realize I could use that for attacking. Oh, I can use a pick for attacking too. All right, I got a hoe. That's going to last forever. Maybe I'll do that. I will make another... Uh, pro pick mold. That is a prospector. Yeah. I'll make another prospector pick. So I'll have a bronze prospector pick and a bronze uh what's the word uh only two there that's fine we'll take both of those and i've got some more whoops come on four eight all right so this will give me a bronze prospector pick and a bronze pickaxe and uh that should give me enough to start, whoops, I need to make those into fire starters. And this is gonna take a while to cook, so we'll let it run. Um, okay, so over this way, over yonder, about half a day's journey uh, to the east. That's east, right? No, that's east, that's west. Um, half a day's journey, there's a couple, they're veins, they're, I don't know how, they're large veins, but they're poor quality and they're directly underneath a uh, a lava pit so that's nice and the other one over here is safe from lava but uh, but it's got regular quality so I guess that's not too bad um, one thing about my I was looking at this earlier too uh, last episode I talked about the quality of this uh, uh, stuff where the the blocks the blocks that were exposed have full nutrients but the blocks that were either covered up by hill or placed manually had low nutrients and they, they're starting to grow so they're actually building their nutrients up so we're gonna let that work as we as we go um still haven't done much with the orchard uh, and so forth. I should probably get that uh that thing out. Okay, so uh, it is. Let's look at the date. It is March seventh. It's almost April. Um, I've been actually holding off uh, planting my crops until uh my my trees flower. Maybe. Actually, I'll probably do it in April. Uh, so once April hits, I'll plant my crops, which should be in two days. So I'll plant my crops in two days. My berry bushes haven't, haven't, uh, grown anything, which I don't expect them to for a while. But, uh, but yeah, so I'll come back when I'm ready to, uh, craft some bronze tools. All right, another thing that's hurting, this the fire's still cooking. Uh, another thing that's hurting is my food. Um, I've been doing really good on fruits and vegetables. I have very no protein, no dairy, and very, very little grain. Um, so as a result, my health isn't that high. So uh, another thing that I was gonna do, and I'll do it right now with you guys, is let's go ahead and craft, take some of these different woods. All right, uh, we need to build a barrel which looks like this. And I'm gonna 
I'll go ahead and build all three of them. And we need to build a bucket, which looks like this. Uh, and we're gonna fill those up with water because um, I need to make some rope. Uh, to get protein, I, I want to get two pigs and then breed them so that I've got many pigs because apparently pigs um, breed like rabbits. So I'm gonna build a little, I guess a fenced in area around here for the pigs. And uh, yeah, so uh, in order to do that, what we do is we put out barrels and apparently we can fill these barrels with water and I don't know how many trips this is going to take so uh, I'll come back when we're ready to do the bronze and we're ready to talk about other stuff so see you in a minute all right it's morning and my pit kiln has run all night so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this thing oops this thing this thing and this thing and we're going to, oh, why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? All right, uh, maybe I need to run it longer. Hmm, welcome back. So apparently, the percentages are very precise and if you don't have it exact the ores won't melt so i didn't have an exact perfect bronze recipe in the the ceramic vessels so of course that means that they did not melt and uh so what i've done is i've got uh two vessels in there both with exactly 100 units of metal in the proper proportions to uh, make tetrahedrite uh, weapons or tools so oops wrong one uh, so they're cooking and when they're done cooking hopefully we can make our two tools um, I've been working on filling this in and it's becoming quite the process. I wonder if I can fill it in down here and if I, I probably can't pick up a barrel full of water. I'm guessing that I'm just not strong enough. Um, maybe that's something I should try. Uh, let's see here. I've almost got this one full. Let's go ahead and take that out. Did it break? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's take this down and see if I can carry a full barrel. I don't think I can, so I better put it into a place where it can stay for a while. So we're going to go ahead and put it there, and we will put it in. Did that work? Yes, it does. So I can just do that, huh? And it's full. It's really full. Okay. Let's see if we can break it. And if we break it, do I get to carry it? All right. So we got a white cedar barrel. Let's carry it up. And if I place it, is it does it stay full? Yes, it does. Well, that's nice. Let's go ahead and take this one then. And take this one. And go fill them up. And then I can bring them up. That's nice. Okay, uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so the purpose of having these barrels is so that I can process my jute. So I'm putting... 12 jute in there and I'm gonna seal the barrel and that way uh, in like eight hours or so those fibers will be ready for me to craft into rope and I want to go get the pigs uh, but this is still cooking so uh, it's actually pretty cool that you can pick these up 
And I think, let's, I think I can fill my, my, let's see, we have to turn this to out. I think I can fill my water jugs from there too, which is awesome. So, uh, that's nice. Can I place this on the ground? Nope. I can just put it in there though. In. There you go. So it's just sitting in there. That's nice. A good, good place to store my bucket. Um, all right. Finish up, dude. Finish up. All right. So it finished. Let's go see if our... Oh, good. Bronze. Haha. -ha. So pick. We'll fill this one up with bronze. Oh, bronze pick. And then we will pick this one up. And we will, we have 100 meters of bronze. There's my prospector's pick. Oh, this is so cool. First bronze tools. All right. So, yeah, the uh, the amount of, of uh, the proportions for each of the alloys has to be very precise. How many kits, how many, oh, I, I don't get a C. All right. So they have to be very precise, which is good. Uh, whoops, I can't do that. I gotta break it out of its mold first, and then I can put it on here. All right, let's go. Okay, let's use it really quick, because I wanna see how many uses I get out of a bronze tool. So I know I'm gonna get a result over here, because this is where I, my current mine is. So about here, large sample of tetrahedrite, and that, 13. 1,300, 1,300 uses. So, uh, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do, since this is so awesome, is I'm going to go mine out uh, these mines, even if it's poor um, uh, cassiterite. It's poor quality cassiterite. I wonder how long these stay. Is this thing ready yet? Nope, not yet. Uh, do I need to use my hand? No, oh, that's got my bucket. That one's still sealed. Okay, um, I'm gonna go get some cassiterite, uh, farm it out, and we will work on. Oh, I need to figure out how to do flux. All right, so um, it's been a short episode, but that's okay. We're gonna go and run with it. Uh, I'm gonna go get tons of cassiterite. I'll bring it over here, and I want to. Um, we need to figure out how to get, make flux so that we can weld bronze ingots together. I need 14 bronze ingots to make a bronze uh, anvil and then we will officially enter the bronze age. So I'm gonna go get some more cassiterite from all my mines and uh, yeah we'll see you next episode when we start working on figuring out how to make an anvil. <laughs>